And after almost two years of school lunches being free because of COVID, federal funding has run out and school districts are beginning to once again put a price on meals. Today, a group called on legislators to continue that free meal program. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Brian Reed heard from parents and has the details on this for us tonight. Brian. Now, Stephanie, behind me is the cafeteria of Rocky Hill High School. Now, this is where students come to relax, but it's also where they can get breakfast and lunch, obviously, with it being the cafeteria. Now, this program we're talking about was wildly popular among parents, but not only that, it also keeps hungry students fed, and parents say that it actually erased the stigma of what it meant to have a free lunch at school. And now parents are coming together with state legislators and hoping the state can find money to continue that program. $30 million in federal funding for Connecticut, gone. We have a responsibility as a state to take care of that. The money created free lunch for every child in school during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's now ran out, and school districts are pivoting towards making parents pay again, something a group called End Hunger CT is trying to stop. I have a daughter who comes home and who talks a lot about her friends not having enough food and trying to find ways to support her friends um, and really just noticing sort of the inequity and feeling really terrible about that inequity. Beth's daughter is Hadley, who's a fifth grader at Charter Oak Elementary in West Hartford. That people don't have enough money to buy school lunch and that they need it and it's not, it's not right. And that's why state leaders are working to help get these students what they need. Because if not, participation numbers could drastically drop like it has in East Hampton schools. Our participation dropped for breakfast 60% and 45% for lunch. And more concerning, our participation among free and reduced students dropped 27%. If the funding were to pull through, it's something Hadley believes would be the best for everybody. I think it would make everybody happy. I think it would make the teachers happy because they wouldn't have, have to like watch their students be hungry. It would make me happy because I wouldn't have to watch my friends have nothing to eat. Now, State Senator Saud Anwar is working closely with the group. He says Senate leadership is on board with this program, and they're talking about it consistently. He says as long as they can pass the bill by the end of their legislative session, there will be free food for all students. In Rocky Hill tonight, I'm Brian Treed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Brian, thank you very much. Also,